What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been following my videos, thanks for sticking around. And for all you new viewers, a big warm welcome. Before diving into today's video, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any of my content. Today, we're gonna be exploring the settings, features, and some useful tips and tricks on the 21 through 23 Yukon Denali. I have a 21 sitting here behind me, so grab a seat, take it easy, don't forget to hit that like button, and make sure you save this video for future reference. Okay, first, we're gonna go over some of the settings that I personally like, and then we can kind of just go do an overview of all the settings for the vehicle inside your infotainment center. First, let me just show you how to access your settings. Hit your home button. Um, it should take you to a screen that looks like this. Uh, these can vary because you can move them around. You're gonna wanna find the settings icon. Click on settings. Uh, you're gonna have these three main sub menus here. Uh, we're gonna go into vehicle today. System kind of goes through the phone and the uh, Wi-Fi networks and the radio and time. Apps obviously are all the apps that you have downloaded on your front screen or home screen. All right, let's click on vehicle. Now, first off, I wanted to look at lighting. Now, this setting in lighting is gonna be your approach lighting. Um, vehicle locator lights are what come on now on the Denali's. Uh, the auto steps will light up the mirrors. Um, there's a little, on my model, there's a little GMC uh, light in the very back. It's really nice. Okay, I did just order those lights uh, that are underneath the rear view mirrors. Uh, they will show the GMC logo on the ground instead of just a diffused puddle light. I saw a couple pictures and they look sweet. There's gonna, I'm gonna put a video right here. Check that video out when it comes out. All right, let's get right back into the settings. Uh, Comfort and convenient is another one. Now this is gonna have your chime volume. Only lowered a certain amount. It would be nice if you could lower it lower, but uh, I have it set on the lowest setting. All right, reverse tilt mirror. Now this setting is going to turn on your mirrors. So when you put it in reverse, the mirrors will tilt down and it's a little bit better view of the curbs. Hands-free lift gate. Now I only keep it on only open only because I've had where I'm loading stuff in the in the rear latch or the lift gate starts to close on me so I ended up turning that to on open only moving on rain sense wipes now this like it says in this description if it senses rain on your windshield they'll turn on okay remote mirror folding this is when you lock your truck with the key fob it's going to fold your mirrors or any other time that the vehicle locks so i like to keep that on because it just auto folds your mirrors now warning with the mirrors folding thousands and thousands of time every time you lock it i have seen them wear out so some people like to keep that off and only use it manually because then you only put them you only fold them when you actually need them folded all right now let's go into some of my favorite settings the remote lock and unlock and start menu. Uh, remote unlock light feedback. Now this is when you unlock, your, your lights will flash that the truck is unlocked. Um, you can set it off where it won't show anything and then basically it's kind of just a discreet, a discreet mode of unlocking your truck. All right, remote lock feedback. Now this one's really important, I'll tell you why. I like to keep it on lights and horn. So when you lock your truck the horn will chirp now when the horn chirps it means that all of your doors are shut I'll show you an example real quick right now of how this works so when you unlock there is your light feedback that is the setting that you turned on to keep to give you a feedback when the truck was unlocked now the lock with horn chirp is a double lock and it honks now, what that honk means is it's indicating that all of your doors are shut. And I'll give you an example of this right now. So let's unlock it and say, let's use the rear door for an example. You're gonna wanna crack it. And this is really common. I've seen with kids, they'll leave it just barely cracked and not shut. All right, so we're gonna come back to our fob. Can't even tell that the doors locked or shut or un not shut all the way. So you're gonna wanna lock it and then double lock, no honk. It doesn't even give you the light feedbacks anymore. Uh, older trucks would still give you light feedback, 
Uh, the new ones looks like it doesn't even give you a light feedback. So that's really cool. Uh, now it does lock all the doors. So if it is latched enough, it will lock. But here I'll show you the example. Shut the door and let's come back to the front so we can see the feedback and you get a lot and you get a horn chirp. Now it's really awesome thing to keep. Okay, moving on after we just went over the remote lock feedback. Um, let's keep going. Remote start auto cool seats is pretty self-explanatory. What it'll do is when you remote start the truck, um, it will turn on your auto cool seats if the temperature is below the certain parameter that GM sets it at. And that's same with the heated seats. All right, moving on. Remote window operation. Uh, this is a really cool one. I always like to leave that on. Um, I'm going to jump out and show you exactly what this does, just like the lock feedback. Okay, this is another cool trick with your key fob. Um, I have, oh, there, my truck's locking. All right, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hold the unlock button. So you're gonna push it, you're gonna unlock it and then push it again and hold it. And all the windows should roll down. There you go. That is your remote window operation setting so that's why i like to leave that on on hot days it's really cool it, it's an easy way to roll all your windows down just with the fob now the only downside with that is uh it does not roll the the windows back up with the key fob uh, i'm sure a lot of people have been asking for this for a while but i think it has to do with the safety feature safety of the vehicle and not knowing what's inside the windows when they're getting rolled up Okay, now we're gonna move on to the passive uh, settings, should be the next couple. So passive door unlock is um, the little button on your door handles, that's your passive. They don't have like a walk up unlock like Tesla, but this is just as good as keep the fob in your pocket. Um, I do driver door only, and that's just cause it's a safety feature. When you're alone at a gas pump or at a parking lot, you're, o you're only gonna want your driver's door to unlock that way you can know that all the other doors will stay locked and uh it's safe to jump in your truck and someone's not right behind you getting into the passenger seat all right passive door lock this is one of my favorites on the 21s uh, and up you walk away after a certain amount of seconds or or space between the key fob and the passive sensors and the doors, um, the, the truck will lock and chirp the horn. The horn chirp is still the indicator saying all your doors are shut all the way. All right, let's move on. Okay, this is another really cool one um, with a factory installed running boards. Um, you can turn off the automatic running boards, which they'll just stay un undeployed and won't come on. Um, now there is a manual deploy. Now this is really cool if, if you're loading stuff up on the roof or if you're washing your truck, that's when I use it the most. Uh, it keeps the running boards down and deployed without the doors open. Okay, last up in the vehicle settings, um, team driver, I'll kind of just explain that real quick. A lot of people probably already know what that is. Um, you can set a team driver per key fob and set a special code and what it does is it'll give you a full report card of what your team did while they were driving how many times the truck started hard brakes um, hard excels you could even set a speed limit so you could even set it for 75 knowing they can't go over 75 on the highway or 65 if you want to be real strict um, it, it same goes with warnings that you can give them warnings for if they're braking too hard or accelerating too hard but all of the above is pretty cool um i've used it a couple times uh the trick is to get your team to accept driving the truck with that on okay valet mode is pretty simple self-explained it's been on cars for a really long time um, you set a pin and you can pretty much lock down the whole car and it doesn't turn on the radio or anything that someone can access any kind of info inside your radio like addresses um, I believe it does a few other things, but I don't really use it too much because I'm not valeting. If some people valet pretty much everywhere they go, it's something you're gonna wanna look into and set up. Okay, let's wrap it up on the settings. Um, I do recommend just going into settings, going through each one, reading what they do and what, you know, you're gonna wanna turn things on. 
that you want to turn on rather than what I want to turn on. So just go in, check it out. Uh, climate and air quality. You can mess with your auto cooled seats and auto defog. Um, same with your collision. You're really going to want to look in here because it's going to do a front pedestrian detection. It'll actually break the truck for you. So just go through each setting. Become familiar with your settings in your truck because when something does get changed or if an update turns something off, you're going to know right where to go. All right. Thanks for watching the overview on those settings. Um, I got a few little tips and tricks that I've learned over, since owning this truck. Some of them really threw me for a loop. Uh, the first one is how to turn all the cabin lights on. Uh, there's not a designated switch for just all the lights on in the side of your cabin. So let's check that. I'll show you how to do that. Like I said, other models have a switch that's designated to turn on all your cabin lights. Um, these did not come with a designated switch, so it took me a while. Um, it's not labeled at all either. So what you wanna do is you're just gonna hold this on and it literally turns all your cabin lights on. And then you wanna do the same thing. You just wanna hold it and it'll shut all the cabin lights off. They do have the cancel and that's right here. It shows a little door so the lights won't come on when you open the door. Okay, so the next one drove me crazy until I figured it out. I was blaming the kids. The seatbelt, the middle row seatbelt just loves to twist. Okay, how do you get it untwist? It's so confusing. Okay, well, there's actually, I know it's dumb, but it took a while. Now you wanna flip it around this anchor bolt. And it literally is that simple to straighten out your seatbelt. Okay, the next one is a money saver. Um, we've all been there at the shop, get your oil changed, and they say, you need a cabin air filter, it's dirty. Well, just buy the cabin air filter. It literally takes two seconds to get, install this thing. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna open this. There's two little hooks that hold the side of this down and you just kind of pull them back a little bit and it comes down and then don't pull it all the way down yet. And you come over here and you pull this off. Now it allows the whole glove box to come off. And then boom, there is your cabin air filter. Um, this model, I believe it's just one little hook here. It pulls up and then you slide it to the left or to the driver's side and it comes off and there is your cabin air filter. Um, I love to keep up on that because it just keeps a nice fresh scent uh, through your cabin and your AC. And it comes off just the same. You wanna just kind of work it in there. I'm doing it with one hand, so it's a little more difficult, but just work it until it slides on and then clips back on. There you go. And the glove box goes back on the same way it came off. All right, guys, that's all I got for now. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. 